Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video on how I make up the Anne's bottles in a 24 hour period. We use the Cow and Gate First Infant Milk from birth and that is the number one. And we've used this since he was born and we plan to use this up until he's 12 months old. So in the morning, I like to make up about four bottles of formula ready for the Anne's feeds throughout the day. As you can see here, I've lined up about four bottles to fill up with formula. These are all sanitized bottles. Um, I have turned the kettle on and left it to stand for 30 minutes. And that is important because it means that the water will be at about 70 degrees Celsius, which is the right temperature to kill the bacteria in the powder. So now that the water is ready, we are ready to make up the formula. Usually you do fill up the bottles with the water first and then add the powder because if you add the powder first, it can mess up the measurements. So what I like to do to make sure all my measurements are correct is to measure out the formula for three of my bottles and then I'll put my fourth bottle to one side and fill up a powder pot dispenser with the right amount of formula for that fourth bottle. And then I'll use a fourth bottle to measure out the correct amount of water for all of my bottles. I'll fill up the first three that I put the powder in. And then I'll fill it up again and dispense the powder that I put in the powder pot. And that way it keeps all of my measurements correct. I do this because if you add powder to a bottle of hot water, the spoon gets really gunky and I don't like that. So once I have put all the powder and the water in the bottles, I use one of these bottle caps to help me mix the formula together. If you try to shake the anticholic bottles with just their normal caps on, you will get leaking and that's why I like to use a bottle cap to shake my bottles. I use the same cap for all four of my bottles while I'm making them at the same time. But if you are going a while between making bottles, then make sure you use a new cap for each new bottle. Please make sure that you're looking at the bottom of the bottles before you move on to the next bottle, because sometimes, as you can see in this fourth bottle, the powder does get stuck to the bottom. So if you shake it again, that does help that powder come away and mix in with the rest of the formula. And now we need to just put our bottles back together. Mine are the anticholic bottles, so they are a little bit more complicated. You just need to grab this little star-shaped thing. Make sure you give it a squeeze at the end because it does need to have a slit in it. So that slit needs to be open when you put your bottles back together. I've then attached it to the stem and then I'm going to get the white wheel looking thing and attach that to the top of the stem. Um, and then that goes into the bottle. So I'm just going to make all of these up quickly and put them each into the bottles. Once I've done that, I'm going to go around each bottle and make sure I've pressed it all down all the way around. If you don't do that, you will get leaking, so make sure you press it down well. And then we need to put on the nipples. So I've got the nipple here and the um, bit that screws on. So just make sure you've pulled your nipple through and then you can put those on to all of your bottles. I'm going to just screw them on properly. Make sure they're really tight. Again, just to prevent any leaking. Once I've done that, all my bottles are ready and they are going to go in the fridge. You don't need to wait for them to cool down or anything. You can wait up to two hours if you wanted to, but I'm going to put them straight into the fridge as they are. Um, and then they last up to 24 hours in the fridge. So whenever the end is ready for a feed, all I do is warm the kettle up, put the warm water into a jug and then grab a bottle from the fridge and put that straight into the jug. I'll leave it in the jug for about five minutes or so. And then when I think it's ready, I'll take it out and check it on the back of my hand. Always make sure to check your formula, make sure to check that it's ready before you give it to your baby. I like to give the Anne bottles at room temperature, so this was the perfect temperature for him. And that bottle is now ready for a feed. At night, we like to use his Tommy Tiffy prep machine to make up his formula. I have brought up his tub of powder and also brought up four bottles. 
a powder pot dispenser which I have put in enough powder for one bottle. I've pre-prepped this because I don't want to be counting out scoops of formula in the middle of the night when I'm really tired. And then once I've fed him and I'm more awake, I'll fill the powder pot back up with some more formula ready for another bottle. Again, this is because I like to dispense the powder first um, so that the powder pot doesn't get gunky with the steam from the hot water. And so it means I can use one powder pot for the whole night. I've also brought up some bottle caps for each of the bottles so that I can mix up the formula properly. Before we get started with making up some formula, we need to make sure we've got some water in the tank. This red light indicates that the tank is empty and I like to empty the water out every 24 hours. So I normally fill it up at the beginning of every night. So I'm going to take off the top where the tank is and I'm going to fill it up with this big jug of tap water. As I'm filling it up inside you can see this blue green round thing and that is the filter so it will filter the tap water so that it is safe to make baby's bottles with. On the outside of the machine here you can see the water filling up and that is um, an indication to how much water you have left in the tank. And then the red light has also gone off because there is now water in the tank. And that is it, you can put the top back on and we are ready to make our bottle. So I've just got one here, I'm going to take the top off and take the stem out and dispense some powder into the bottle and then put it under the machine ready to fill up. You can use the dial at the top here to choose the amount of formula that you want to make and you just need to push the little indented bit to five, six, seven, eight, depending on um, how many ounces you want to make. For this one we are going to make a four ounce bottle. Once you've chosen how many ounces you want you just want to press the button in the middle and you can see here that the button has gone red and it's flashing. The machine is making a loud noise and it's steaming and that means that it is dispensing some hot water. And this is because the powder needs hot water to kill the bacteria that's in it. The beeps mean that the machine has finished dispensing the hot water so we're just going to put the cap on and give it a shake. Just make sure like we did in the morning that there's no powder stuck to the bottom of the bottle. And then when you're ready you can put the bottle back under the machine and press the middle button again and this time the light is flashing green the machine is not steaming up anymore which means that the water is now at room temperature and that means that it will create a bottle that is at the perfect temperature ready for baby to feed okay so the bottle is done we're going to take out the machine put the cap back on and give it a second shake just to make sure that the hot and cold water is well combined Um, and then I'm going to put the stem back in and put the top back on and check the temperature on the back of my hand to make sure that it is okay because you just never know that the machine might be broken um, and the water may not have cooled down correctly. So anyways guys that's how I make the Anne's bottles for the full day. If you did like this video please give it a thumbs up, leave any comments down below if you have any questions, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye!